Hey guys, Minister Hall has made her announcement that she's officially returning to performing reggae music, but clean reggae music. She says she's got bills to pay. She has a calling, yes, and she's glad she have her ministry, but she needs to pay her bills. From the look of things, the ministry isn't bringing in any type of money, and the music that she's putting out isn't bringing in any type of money. Allegedly. Because she keeps the ministry out of her house. The church is in her house. And every time she comes on, you don't hear voices in the background. There's nobody there but her. So I guess she was looking for donations on the internet. Because you can do that. You can set up your page where donations can come in and people can listen to you. But apparently she's not making a go of it. So she says she's returning to reggae music. It's going to be clean reggae music, however. It's not going to be any dance hall type of thing. She's going to be performing with artists like Barris Hammond. He's a clean singer, no cussing, no lewdness. And that's what she's looking for. Any artist like him. So she says she's got a couple of bookings already. So we are going to see, be seeing her this year performing. I don't think she would go on a platform like Sting. Because her mindset is different. And what I maintain is she have a right to make money to survive, to pay her bills. She's going to be singing clean lyrics. So she says and doing reggae and I think I'm going to be looking forward to seeing her because she is a performer. There are lots of people in America and all over the world who sing gospel music but they also sing secular music and they are saved but they do not sing any nasty and raunchy songs. So I'm sure Minister Hall is going to be in demand. She did not specify as to what date she's going to be starting but she says she has already booked a couple of dates for performances she timed it just right the reggae genre is really missing a good female artist a clean female art artist because i don't hear anyone out there maca diamond and the angel and all of them they sing very dirty lyrics so that's what is missing that a whole generation is, uh, gro they're growing up on this dance hall music and they don't have any clean lyrics in them. And the dance hall music is very raunchy and nasty. So we need a female MC out there who can really spit positive energy and positive music and words to not only this generation, but past generations also and future generations to come. So I'm looking forward to Minister Hall getting out there and showing us what she really have up her sleeve because we know she's a performer. She's a born performer. And anytime she gets on the stage, all eyes are on her. So I was happy when she made the announcement. I saw the announcement on her live a few days ago. So... Hopefully, I get the first chance to take a peek at what she has to offer because I know it's going to be good because she is uh, quite a performer. I think the timing is just right also because Spice is no longer in the picture. I don't know what's going on with her. I know she had everything for sale in Atlanta back in December because she was saying to Shikana that she was going to be moving back or wants to move back to Jamaica. So we're going to see what happens with Spice, if she's going to still be on Love and Hip Hop uh, Atlanta or if she's going to move so back to Jamaica. So it's just um, a breath of fresh air, actually, because I'm sick and tired of this dance hall music with all the raunchy and the nasty. So welcome back, Minister Hall. YouTubers, drop your comments. I'm over and out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and to this video. Thank you for watching.